Every generation will not be confused. There is a generation that will get this thing. Say the compressed of a from that day. The creative dimension of the prophetic. There must be a performance because. Carry all your sorrow and come. God sent me. They say, Here we are. You have no idea of the kind of sorrow I came to church with. So you should not be angry and give flimsy excuses because you told them God sent you. And in as much as you are a student learning and we continue and remain students, there is a minimum level of efficiency that if you have not attained, do not call people. You will only be calling people to embarrass yourself. Are we together? Yes. The backing. Matthew 10 and verse 1. Matthew 10 and verse 1. Jesus when he had called unto him the 12 disciples the bible says he gave them power someone say power what did he give them he did not just give them a message he gave them power so if you receive the message don't start running wait till the power to prove the message comes to it is dangerous to run with the message alone the message without power will make you look like a liar because there are forces that have been sent by hell to make sure the message on your lips sounds like a lie. The assignment of power is to insist that what you are saying is true. Listen carefully now. This is a ministry of power. You know that already. So, I mean, is you breathe the air of power and the supernatural. It's a mandate. That God should not, listen to me, listen to me. Don't blame people if they don't take, pay attention to you. Let me tell you, more than the message or in addition to the message, you must obtain empowerment by the Spirit. Micah 3 and verse 8. Micah chapter 3 and verse 8. It says, but truly I am full of power by the Spirit of the Lord. I'm not just full of a message. I am full of power. Power to heal. Power to deliver. Power to restore. Power to rewrite the negative narratives over people's lives. The backing. Acts chapter 1 and verse 8. Having mentored them for a period of three and a half years, he's about to release them officially. And he left them with this message. But ye shall receive power. That means you can reject power because he didn't say you shall have. He said you shall receive. After that, the Holy Ghost is come upon you and ye shall be witnesses unto me. It takes power more than a message or in addition to a message to be a witness. In Acts chapter 4 and verse 33, it's a popular scripture in this house. And with great power gave the apostles witness of the resurrection of the Lord Jesus and great grace was upon them all someone shout power. power this may be the missing link for someone maybe I'm speaking prophetically to a man of God maybe I'm speaking prophetically to a leader there is nothing wrong with your call you have stayed well to obtain the strategy can I tell you sincerely integrity of character is important but it is not enough to get the job done you need to understand your message and my goodness you need power especially in today's world you are a man of God you are hearing me God may be revealing to you that this is the missing link it's not like your call is not genuine you have not stayed and held on to the four horns of the altar until he said tarry in Jerusalem don't rush without power it's a risk oh power has come oh your power has come oh In the school of power, 
there is no ignorance of his arrival mm -mm. it's impossible for power to come and you do not know when power came from elijah to elisha he turned immediately and said where is the lord god listen there are things that take time to manifest power is not one of them as power arrives it starts speaking immediately i can tell you this Power has come. Oh, 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 oh. I, I, Listen, we can spend a vigil this night as I tell you several sessions of impartations of genuine power from heaven I, I can tell you stories upon stories I can tell you graces and how they came and when they came your destiny must know what grace has arrived you can't keep acting powerless and wondering why increase is not coming he said right from the days of John and up until now the kingdom suffered violence it takes more than eloquence more than oratory you need power power against power above power that compels compliance hear me it takes power to see it takes power to hear and then it takes power to speak it takes power to compel people to leave their homes and their nations to come and hear you you must be joking just to believe it, it takes more than value my dear people no for people to ignore tribal sentiments ignore all kinds of interracial sentiments and stay to place a demand on the grace upon your life it takes power i know you are a prophet but the missing link is power i know there is an apostolic call evolving but the missing link is power i know you are a ceo i do not doubt your wisdom but there is power your speaking is like a lecture there is no power listen hear me when i say power i don't just mean falling down and shouting Power is the capacity to bring evidence to your speakings. The ability to bring solutions. Power. The Bible says where the carcasses are. Is that in your Bible? It says there the eagles will gather. The world has not yet invented technology to ignore power. No. The world has not gone to that level where they see power and, 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 and throw it away no sir the day god uses you to do something spectacular in the life of your family members by themselves they will say god called you listen our fathers who have joined the cloud of witnesses today when you read the stories of men like apostle babalola they didn't just come to say i am called you are joking you don't bring cards and say take invite me no your power is your card genuine authentic apostolic power not manipulations and games look at the testimony of the gentleman who came here i came in and i heard very touching testimony a matured adult having that kind of thing never downplay the extent of problems that people have let me tell you when you become a solution by power you have caught the attention of a generation not assumed power not power with a lot of noise and then when it is now time for performance this is what we largely do respectfully speaking in the body of Christ there is a lot of noise of what we claim we can do but in light of real results everybody just chickens away no power genuine apostolic power Jesus mentored them, but it was not enough to release them. And on the day of Pentecost, 
when that power fell upon them Peter stood up and said this is that prophet Joel spoke about it this is that let me stretch my hands over someone in the name of Jesus let something from heaven come upon you let something from heaven come upon you I separate you from a natural life I separate you from a power a powerless life in the name of Jesus hear me you are a man of God here receive power power from heaven not just power in ministry power in business any dimension of result takes power apostle why are people not coming to my store what do you think brings them what do you think brought the animals to the ark of noah a suggestion an announcement before we get into the the doctrinal pillars this, this is just our pastor conference version no? after that we'll continue the message please pray in the spirit in one minute lord power upon my life genuine power upon my life someone pray genuine power the fire of the holy ghost outside pray all the overflows pray power upon my life ministry with results genuine results business with results genuine results leadership with results genuine results the capacity to provide solutions beyond the realm of intellect hallelujah 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 now before we continue I want to pray a very special prayer there is a group of people here I see that God this thing that we call the hearing ear and the seeing eyes the Lord is asking me in under this atmosphere to impart that grace I stretch my hands some of you your dreams are dead your visions are dead I stretch my hands right now wherever you are all over this auditorium all the overflows men and women alike at the count of three I stretch my hands let a miracle happen to your eyes your hearing and your seeing one two three receive that grace now receive that grace now receive that grace now I revive visions in your life. I revive supernatural encounters in your life. Hallelujah. Please be seated. Please be seated. Please be seated. So these are the five essentials, five essentials, five essentials. Help two people that will start running now. I just saw this in a vision. Let there be an ignition upon your spirit man. Let there be an ignition upon your spirit man in the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you for watching our entire video today. If you feel you can bless someone, please join us and spread the gospel by sharing this video on your social media.